Hello Parade Watchers and welcome to another history video. Today I'll be looking into our final Sesame Street character and a user of mine have been begging me to do this character since he loves him so much, which that is Super Grover for his appearances as a giant balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. 2003 marked the parade debut of our beloved superhero with Sesame Workshop as a sponsor. His design shows him flying down the parade route with his pink cape and shining armor hat. Even though Super Grover used to fail all the times flying in Sesame Street, he managed to fly for real, but it was just a balloon. It's an eggplant. It's a fireman. And coming up, Super Grover, complete with a cool medieval knight's helmet and a hot pink cape. Even though right now that's our fireman friend, there's Super Grover. Now he may be more furry than ferocious, but what damsel in distress wouldn't like to be swept away by a furry blue superhero who cuddles his enemies? Furnished by Sesame Workshop, the word in superhero circles is that Super Grover's helmet sometimes tends to slam shut right as he makes his move, but not in today's adventurous debut. And while Super Grover may not be faster than a speeding locomotive, he's only about 20 feet shorter than one, and almost twice as wide. makes his turn off of Herald Square, up along 34th Street, where I guess he's going to then do some Christmas shopping at the world's largest department store. My son Jack is obsessed with Super Grover. Uh, really? He loves Super Grover. Well, who doesn't? In 2004, not only he was there to celebrate Sesame Street's 35th anniversary, but he was also named Macy's Holiday Ambassador of 2004. Energy and eager to save the day, as if it's the world's cutest monster, Super Grover, seven stories tall and furnished by Sesame Workshop. Once again, that Cape Crusader is out for adventure, trying to scale medium sized buildings in a single bound and usually making kind of a monumental mess of things. Next year, Super Grover opens his own school for superheroes right on Sesame Street in its 36th season, but Super Grover gets high marks for years of furry fun on Sesame Street. Teen singing sensation, Kaylee Westenra, the High Five Gang from Discovery Kids, plus recording stars Ryan Cabrera and Barry Strait. Don't miss a beat live here on NBC. The last two years to come for Super Grover were 2005 and 2006.
Creek isn't a single down, it's Super Grover, twice as big as a school bus and furnished by Sesame Workshop. A superhero who rights every wrong? Mm, not so much, but Super Grover's convinced he can save the day if he can just keep that dashing silver helmet from slamming shut in his face. This season on Sesame Street, Super Grover's traveling all the eagles. Global Grover once again takes to the sky. So get ready, Germany and Bangladesh. Never fear, Iceland and the Philippines. The answers to your problems are on the way. They might not always be the right answers, but if you're there for every superhero, you will never find. After 2006, Super Grover was retired, making a total of four appearances.